Hey, welcome back. This is part three of update uh, 126. So here we go. First up, starting out with a bang, in my opinion, and that is the Boogans. I freaking love this monster movie. Um, I just always love the, the look of this monster. It's just something straight up from like it sh this movie should have been like from the 1950s. Bunch of tentacles. The mosh looks like a cute kind of bug. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not scary, but it's just cool looking. But yeah, the Boogans. Gotta love the Boogans. Um, great acting. Decent pace, you know. Um, it has some fun uh, monster moments. So always been a fan of the yeah the Boogans. And I remember like uh, years ago uh, when the when it had finally hit VHS. I actually bought bought the, I remember buying that from the mall. Uh, and, I, and even at that time, I thought it was strange that it got a VHS only. Uh, this, yeah, this movie has a kind of a weird history with physical media. It it does because even at that time, I I was like, why not, why didn't it make it to DVD? All these years later, it finally gets on to. The, the VHS. I bought the tape because I still, at that time, I was still collecting tapes, and they were, they were easy to get, especially at that time. But um, yeah, we had to wait years and years and years later, and never made a DVD. But then, you know, thanks to all, companies like Olive, they they did for they released a nice Blu-ray edition. And then Kino comes along, loads it up with more special features and stuff, and then. I like that they, at the time, I didn't appreciate that new VHS art because of the eyes. I remember not liking that. I just liked the way the original movie poster art, I, I like that. But nowadays, I miss that. So nowadays, I do appreciate that sort of cheesy, modernized uh, look there. The new kind of font. Um, well, at that time, it was like modernized. But I guess now, nowadays, you consider that kind of vintage now. But yeah, I remember not being crazy about how the tape art looked. But um, anyway, cool monster movie. Love the Boogans, man. You gotta, you gotta love the Boogans. Good stuff. I blame society. Uh, this looked crazy. I checked the trailer out. Murders going on. Some psycho type movie, so. Uh, for, one of those partner labels from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. I always forget the name of this label, though. They just put a D on the spine, and that does not help me remember which partner label it is. Anyway, continuing on. I Blame Society. Pretty sure I'm going to dig that one. It looked pretty wild from the trailer. Uh, we got a new movie. Um, I'm not too familiar with this one. Um, Infinite... Infinite Santa 8000. I just, it, it just, the trailer reeled me in. It just looked crazy cool. So, cool. Uh, Jailhouse uh, Wardress from MVD Classics line. I'm collecting a lot of these, um, especially nowadays, a lot of these uh, women in prison type movies. Obviously, some of these more obscure ones aren't going to be the best examples of this subgenre. But, uh, yeah, I, I just can't resist. So, yeah, Jail Health, Wardress, especially when it's got this whole Nazi, crazy Nazi theme to it. Jennifer 8. I missed out on that uh, Blu-ray. This is the second time it's getting released on the Blu-ray. I think Image Entertainment had released it years and years ago on Blu-ray, but I was just late to the party and grabbing that one, and it's been long out of print since. Uh, and I think it's like it was high. I don't know. It was just hard to find. Uh, but uh, I just never even had this on DVD either. So, and I've never seen Jennifer Eight. I've known about it, but I just never got around to watching it, or nor have I caught it ever on TV. So, it looks to be a cool uh, thriller. So, guy going around, I, I'm guessing, I can't remember. I read up on it, but I don't remember something about killing a bunch of Jennifers. I don't know. Yeah, Jennifer 8 from uh, Scream Factory. 
This one is a really cool thriller, Judgment Night. It had been years since I've watched this one, so I had a lot of fun revisiting this one from, uh, yeah, the 90s. So good stuff. Uh, has some fun, crazy moments for sure in this one. So Judgment Night, got to have that one. I dig the way the, the look of this monster is awesome looking, very in th threatening and... Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. New India, a new uh, horror movie from India, an Indian horror. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's Indian horror. Um, Kandisha. If I'm saying that right, enjoyed this one. Um, I'm going to keep my other Blu ray that I bought directly from this director, just for collector's purposes. This is a cool movie, Killer. What obscure one from like. Uh, is this early 90s? Oh, 1990. <laughs> I can't get no more earlier than that. Uh, yeah, killer. Pretty cool. Uh, for a while there, you could actually get this on Blu-ray. Uh, if you just, uh, the, the, the director of this movie, I believe he was the director. He was sort of independent. He was independently releasing his, his movie here. Um, he has like his own website. And uh, I don't, I don't, it doesn't that doesn't happen too often at least i if it does i don't know about it i just got excited about getting that uh, finding out about that blu-ray and getting it i'm going to keep it though even though this is pretty much the edition you're going to want to have loaded with bonus features and stuff thanks to TerraVision. cool little slasher movie killer uh the killing of bobby green newer movie Newer indie crazy movie. It's pretty cool. I love that. Kindred. I think this was supposed to be a TV show, but it just didn't. It just ended. It didn't do. It didn't do well. Or I don't know all the history of of this one that just i just uh, i like the setting and the whole gothic looking creepy mansion and stuff so it reeled me in when i watched the trailer so kindred i'll check it out i think it was supposed to be like a, a tv show at one point this might be just like the pilot so yeah kindred from uh, ifc midnight uh, this was a screen factory release as well oh cool um yeah King on screen. I love that name. That's uh, it's got a nice rhythm to it. King on screen. Uh, very cool. Looking forward to checking out this documentary. Uh, I want to say he's had a documentary about him before, maybe. Maybe on, just on VHS at, at one point. Or am I thinking of just uh, Argento or Pasolini or whatever? Uh, maybe not. This might be the first uh, documentary on Stephen King. Um, but I want to, I don't know. I don't know if that's right. But a, a new documentary. Anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Pretty cool. I love the way he looks. It's just very maniacal. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, lonesome. Some early 1920s stuff. Like early talkies. I got this mainly for, uh, just to add to my horror collection, the last performance. It looks to be... I think one of those early kind of sh at the time would be a shocker i guess uh but yeah i mainly got this for the last uh performance so you got some other little short movies in here uh so pretty cool these were to be to have been lost for a while and then rescued so pretty cool thanks to criterion so yeah lonesome I remember reading up on this, just being fascinated by the whole thing. It's, it's pretty messed up. Lords of Chaos. I think these guys are still around. Um, not really my genre of uh, music. I was just fascinated by this true story, though. Um, it's crazy. So, But I'm looking forward to checking this movie out. I have yet to see it. I'm very much late to the party on this one. So, pretty cool. Lords of uh, Chaos. About this, uh, I guess it's death metal or some sort of thrash. No, black metal. I don't, it's one of those metals. <laughs> one of those metal uh, music groups. 
So yeah, Lords of Chaos. Uh, lost in the eighties. This is this is this is what makes collecting exciting. So uh, these sort of obscure, low budget horror films. Uh, it's only a movie is the first one. Uh, Maligno, the second one. Screen box, scre oh, excuse me, Screen Book and Screen Book Part Two. Never heard of a single one of these until now. It's crazy. So that's awesome. So, a new one, uh, yeah, a new one from uh, Terror Vision. This company's just been kicking ass a lot. So, pretty cool. And then I had, I already had two of these movies, but um, I never had this other one. All these movies have been released separately over the, over the, past few years um broken mirror is awesome i'm a fan of that one i've yet to see um a question of silence or the last that last island is the one i just never got around to picking up so i picked up this nice collector's uh, triple movie pack from uh yeah cult epics um because it's just a nice way to yeah it's just i love these packs and that uh, each movie is on its own disc so that's always a winner in my book so pretty cool. Like I said, Broken Mirror is the only one I've seen, and it's I, I'm a fan of that one. Um, yeah, the Marlene Goris trilogy. Goris, however you say her last name. Uh, upgrade from DVD. Uh, sort of an upgrade. Uh, not the best Blu-ray out there, but uh, yeah, Matrimony. An early um, Asia Extreme uh, from, uh, yeah, Tartan Asia Extreme. Early, old, old, the, oh, excuse me, old Blu ray release. Just came across this one for pretty cheap, and I figured I'd just grab it uh, just to kind of sort of sort of upgrade from the, the DVD. So, Matrimony. Um, I still need to get around to watching the first movie, um, the first horror anthology but this is part two uh mexico barbero really nice uh collector's edition for sure plenty of uh special features so that's cool um i, I I'm, I'm going to try and binge these asap now that i'm because yeah i still need to watch the first one but yeah part two And then, I love this movie, Monster House. It's just a ton of fun. Just one of those perfect ones you can just have playing. Uh, uh, definitely, for sure, around September, October. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. It's cute. Good stuff. Um, love the look of the, uh, the Monster House, for sure. Uh, Monsters. Uh, this was pretty cool. I dug it. Uh, more of a character sort of drama story with some monsters in the background kind of thing um yeah i i enjoyed it and i like the look of the the actual aliens they look pretty cool so and you do get some good visuals with them so they do pop up from time to time but yeah i enjoyed it uh, i do have part two but i have not seen that yet it looks to kind of up the action a little bit so that's cool um I have a feeling I might like this one more than that first one. I don't know. But Monsters Dark Continent. That's a pretty wild scene right there. So, yeah. Well, I get around to picking up some uh, physical copies of these movies. So, I've only seen the first one. Monster Squad. This is an amazing addition. So, big no-brainer. Awesome movie. Very nostalgic. Um, I love that they were able to, um, about this particular release, how they were able to get the original poster artist to sort of improve upon, uh, the poster art. So that, I don't think that's ever, that doesn't have, if it happens, it doesn't happen that often. So that, I found that to be pretty special and pretty unique for this release that they were able to get the original poster artist to add, a. To now add her, her character in. So that's awesome. 
That is just too stinking cool. And it's a very nice addition, all the special features. And yeah, he went back and uh, just added her in there. That's amazing, because she never was in the original of Hoster Art. So yeah, I, I I appreciate that. I think that's uh, that is just that's too cool for school for sure. So awesome. So yeah, Monster Squad, a lot of fun, a lot of quotable lines in this movie and stuff. So good stuff. Love letter to Universal Monsters, obviously. But yeah, awesome. Up, another upgrade from uh, my DVD. I've been grabbing a lot of this director's movies lately. Um, this is one that I actually do like. It's a, it's a mess of a movie, and uh kind of feel that I would lose out on the argument of trying to defend this kind of movie if I was ever into defending anything movie-wise. But anyway, Muck, kind of upgrade over the DVD, so they're pretty cheap. And I dig these movies. I had a blast with the other movie from the same director, so I figured this, I'd give this one a chance to, because it's just too out there to ignore. Uh, the Mysterious Castle and the Gar and the Carpathians. Crazy bizarre looking stuff. Just, you'll know right off the bat if this is for you when you watch the trailer, so. But I did enjoy the other one, so I'm going to give this a shot. I don't really know how you would go about categorizing this movie like what genre or it's a little bit of this and that and it's got some it's got some bizarre visuals and stuff so it's just you can't ignore these movies uh very cool so I, i'm looking forward to checking that out I, i'm i'm pretty sure you're gonna love it and then some more uh goodness from the asylum so here we go uh, Nazis at the center of the earth and you've got a UFO yeah you've got some craziness so I had to pick this up Nazis at the center of the earth awesome those dang Nazis always up to no good okay um they're pretty good Nazi undead Zombies actually look pretty decent in this one, so I'm going to give it a shot. Is this another Asylum? No, MVD Visual. Excuse me. So yeah, Nasi Undead. Kind of a little bit of a theme going in with this uh, part of the update. It's a few Nazis sort of theme stuff with uh, Jailhouse Warderess and uh, these two. Alright, and then I haven't seen this movie since it first came out, so we're talking decades. And it had been so long that I completely forgot that this movie was a freaking that <laughs> was a musical yeah Nightmare uh, was it yeah The Nightmare Before Christmas I like everything else about this movie it's just uh oh I'm trying I'm trying to like musicals and I, I I started laughing when I popped this in because I was like damn it that's right this is a musical I completely forgot that this movie is a musical um, but some of the songs were catchy, and I guess for it being a, a cartoon or an you know, animation style, um, it kind of, it fits with the whole vibe of it. Anyway, I, I'm a weirdo. I'm one of those that just can't fully appreciate, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I like a lot of Tim Burton stuff, but the musicals, man, I just, um, I totally forgot that this was a musical. But I still enjoyed this movie though, just because it's Halloween. It's because it's Halloween. It's it's um, the visuals and everything are awesome. So, and just uh, it had a lot of fun moments and everything. Um, but yeah, it'd be cool if uh, they did a non music. That would probably be like a huge crime, I guess, if uh, Tim Burton was was to do like a non musical version of this movie. Um, but I wouldn't be against it. Anyway. Big time. Crazy upgrade over the uh, Blu-ray. That's probably a good, getting close to 20 years old. Uh, so, big upgrade for me. Uh, awesome movie, old boy. It's pretty brutal. 
So um, I love this. Um, I love this. Um, how it says "old boy" with through the tentacles. That's pretty. That's pretty creative. It's a very nice addition. I got this one through. Um, I feel like it's got through Diabolic. So I knew this would be just uh, the upgrade I was needing over the uh, ancient Blu-ray that I've been rocking for quite some time. So old boy, pretty cool. I'm glad that it's a decent size. Uh, looking at it online, I wasn't sure if it was going to be gigantic, like because um, it has that same style of packaging and feel of uh, the A24, what A24 did with uh, Midsommar. I was afraid it was going to be gigantic. And I was like, ah, but I still, still needed to have this movie on a really nice edition. So, awesome. Uh, no documentary on the trail of uh, Bigfoot land of the missing uh, so pretty cool like the Bigfoot Sasquatch documentaries so and I am digging that uh, cover art that's got like early 80s if they were going for that they succeeded because it definitely has that um, early 80s slash late sort of 70s vibe going on with this cover art so congrats guys you freaking nailed it that's um that looks good that definitely caught my attention and i love the just the gigantic shadowy figure of bigfoot sort of walking away sort of walking off in the distance and then you've got the victims of the skeletons and stuff but yeah anyway i'm rambling i'm, I'm looking forward to checking out this uh, new big, bigfoot documentary uh, really cool. So yeah, that cover art is just... That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright, um... And then last for part three for now, and I'll get to part four ASAP. So, um... What, my, my time is looking pretty good. I can... I'll pull out some more here. So, anyway, um, this one is, uh, on... Uh, what is this called? Onyx, the fortuitous, the fortuitous, and the talisman of souls. Jesus Christ, what a t title! But this movie is awesome. Um, I hate the title, <laughs> but the movie is great. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, so yeah, don't look at this. Was another one from my screen box. And then let me pull a few more because I'm I'm doing pretty good on time. So four. Yeah, well, no, that's a lot in the, the P section. Um, yeah, screw it. Let, let's get a few more down because uh, I thought this, I kind of flew through this stack here, didn't I? Let's get some more down. Uh, all right. we'll go through these all right and then uh then it'll be four and probably possibly a part five uh that might be might be just part four total so anyway i'm rambling let's let's get to let's go let's go i'll show you guys what i got through the uh the p section here hold on i'm trying to put these so i can show these in um ABC order because I'm weird that way. OC, OCD. Okay, so there we go. All right, finally getting around to watching this movie uh, for the first time. I'm, I'm late to some of these new um, Pixar movies. Actually, they're not really all from Pixar, but they're that 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 animate that same style of animation. But anyway, uh, Para Para Norman. I thought this was a this was a fun one. I dug it. I like the way the zombies were um, portrayed, how they were portrayed. So, yeah, and I like the comedy in this. The comedy was, uh, it hit well with me. Um, so, yeah, I really dug this. Excuse me, I've got hair. I want to tickle my nose here. So, yeah, Par Paranorman, I'm a fan. I, I really like this one. Uh, so, yeah, glad, to, glad I took a chance on this one. Uh, Penny Dreadful, the complete series. Um, I'm going to be new to this one, so definitely late to the party on checking out this TV 
TV show here. I got this one at a really good deal. So, um, and I love the uh, cover to this. But anyway, I've heard a lot of good things from about this TV show, Penny Dreadful, the complete series. So, pretty cool. How long did this last? Um, yeah, I just, this is one of those TV shows um, that I just never got around to catching when it had aired at the time. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Penny Dreadful, the complete collection. Uh, prequel uh, for Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery uh, Bloodlines. Um, I I need to. I'm trying to remember if it did it. Did I watch this one? I don't think I watched this one yet. So definitely, I'm trying to get some time to where I can watch this with uh, with uh, my my oldest son. Still has not. He wants to see this so trying to get it to where we can both watch this together so anyway pet cemetery uh bloodlines a prequel pig killer who released this i, I got to think this is another um nurgle syndrome partner label release here dark dark star pictures pig killer based on true events so that grabbed my attention never seen this before i'm wondering if this is this the same story as like that madison county movie it kind of reminds me of that just by because of the whole pig thing probably not anyway pig killer it just that movie madison county came to mind when i got to reading about this and then especially seeing that cover art that's that and then the prophecy one through three um, I thought it was really cool, uh, as far as the packaging design wise, I thought it was cool for a blade in the dark, but then when I found out this also did this, I was like, oh, we're going to kind of keep kind of, do... it's neat, but I just thought that first experience and getting a package like that for that blade in the dark was just, um, it was just wild. It was it was, a, it was definitely a fun moment of just uh, having to experience that. But I don't know how many times we're gonna kind of because uh, I will say my only little nitpick is when you when you do put this pull this off the shelf, it kind of like pulls it. It comes loose. So I'm not. It's it's a cool looking design, but it's not. Uh... Anyway, I'm rambling. It's getting late. But yeah, I never I actually never had these movies in my collection before i'm a fan of the first movie and i don't remember any of the sequels i've seen this i've seen part two but i don't know if i've ever got around to ever watching part three much less the rest of the sequels but uh so i'm looking i'm gonna binge these uh for sure so pretty cool um i do like i remember digging the first movie i just i barely remember part two um more of his um anyway it's getting late i lost my train of thought on what i wanted to say on the sequel but and then i picked up this one the five film set this just has the rest of the sequels like part four and five um like i said i, I want to binge all of these i know all these sequels are going to be not all winners but um I figured I would just pick this up for, like, it. I got this for, like, really cheap. So that's that. And then, uh, then I'll come at you with the cues on down uh, for part four. But I don't feel like getting up again. It's about 30 minutes of uh, update here, so that's good enough. Anyway, Puppet Shark from uh, <laughs> SRS Cinema. So, could not resist. Uh, it is practical. It's all puppets and stuff, so... Just watching the trailer for this sort of reminded me of like, what is that other one like Puppet Monster Massacre or, or something like that? I have that in my collection, so oh, why not just uh, go after this one as well? And I do like this uh, fun looking cover art to this movie. It looks to be like good, a good time. So it, again, guys, it just depends on what kind of mood you're you're in. I like a little bit of variety of stuff. So Puppet Shark from uh, yeah SRS Cinema, pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, puppets getting slaughtered and stuffing and cotton going everywhere, I guess. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's part three, guys. Appreciate your time, and, uh, 
That's it for now. Later.